some harsh criticism tonight directed toward the Pritchard Police Department by Mobile County Sheriff. Sheriff Paul Birch made the comments this evening to NBC 15 News following the recent robbery and shooting of the owner of a Pritchard convenience store. The sheriff even goes as far as to question the existence of the Pritchard Department itself. NBC 15's Darren Singleton sat down with Sheriff Birch this afternoon. Darren, he didn't hold back. He did not, Kim, telling me that Rashad Norwood should have been behind bars when that crime occurred, but Pritchard police failed to do their job. And then Sheriff Birch told me the citizens of Pritchard might be better off with someone else patrolling their streets. There is no reason this guy should be on the street. If Pritchard would have done their job in 23 and 20, in January of 24, he'd be in jail or prison, and then the victim of this robbery would not have been shot by Norwood. It was a startling statement from Mobile County Sheriff Paul Birch in reference to the case of Rashad Norwood. The 30-year-old Norwood is accused of Tuesday night's robbery and shooting of the owner of T&J Food Mart in Pritchard. Today, Sheriff Birch told me his department has taken over this case by doing something Pritchard's department had yet to do, sign warrants for Norwood's arrest. No sense sugarcoating it, Pritchard police failed to do their job. So, you know, my responsibility as the sheriff to seek justice in this case. You had a store owner, you know, robbed and shot for no reason and, and nothing is being done about it. Now, they made the effort to send the video to another news station, but they've yet to go down and sign warrants, you know, for the individual. So there's still no warrants on this individual for this crime? Correct, which, you know, should be for attempted murder and robbery first, which will be the warrants that we're seeking. But it doesn't end there. Burt says Pritchard PD failed to sign warrants in February of last year when Norwood was arrested for possession of a controlled substance. That case was dismissed. And Burt said it happened again in January of this year. January of 24, he had an attempt to elude possession of a controlled substance, possession of marijuana, and domestic violence. Did they sign warrants on the, in that situation? They did not. And it was dismissed because they failed to sign warrants. Well, and it, that case was reset several times to give them an opportunity to sign warrants. But Birch says it's not just Norwood's case, calling it a pattern of practice with the Pritchard police. You know, we've been asked by families to look at some of their homicides that they've not acted on, that they have the information. And, you know, I, I just don't understand it. That lack of understanding prompts another question with even more far-reaching effects. Would Pritchard be better off without a police department? They would, as long as there was adequate law enforcement provided. And, and I would just say there had been some discussions with uh, people who, who still love that community that have asked me if Pritchard police were dissolved, you know, would we contract with them such as we've done with other agencies? As long as it's funded, you know, I don't have a problem with that. And, you know, I, I got into law enforcement to serve people. And that's what, you know, anyone who gets in should be their primary objective is to serve their community. And, and what they're doing is far from a service. So that's out there now. Our news department attempted twice today to get a response from Pritchard Police about the lack of warrants in the Norwood cases. We have yet to hear from them. We'll reach out again tomorrow to the department about these latest comments from Sheriff Birch. And if they have something to say about those, we'll share it with you when we get it.